All right, so let's, let's uh, start our experiment with fixer drop. I'm very, very curious about um, the side that uh, was treated is on the, uh, the side with the cuts in there for, I guess you'd call it dynamic poisoning. Um, they took some material out of the balance wheel so that it would uh, be, well, I guess be in, be in poise. Um, but anyway, that's the side that I've used so that it's marked. That's the side that was treated. Let's, uh, let's apply some Mobius 9010 and let's see what happens. We're going to see how it sticks to one side versus the other because I'm kind of uh, confused as to how this stuff's supposed to work. All right, so we have a, a generous amount of oil here on the oiler. Let's see what happens when we try to apply it to the, uh, the treated side. Okay, so it's uh, kind of staying together. Now let's try the, uh, the side that wasn't treated. See what the difference is here. So obviously gravity is probably going to have it sit there, but um, let's go over here and see what happens. All right. All right, now let's compare. Oh, uh, notice the difference. It's pushing the oil. The oil is kind of, it's not conjoined. The highest surface tension, or, or rather the, the material filled in the microgroove, so it's not really, um, it's not really sticking the way that you'd, you'd find it, it attaches itself. It just doesn't want to be there, you see that? You can actually see it um, on this side though. It's more than happy to uh, kind of spread out and then run all over the place. See the difference? kind of slight but it is there um, see that particularly right there this cluster yeah it does not want to be on there it would probably fall slight right off if uh, it wasn't for gravity helping us out here see it kind of contract now again on the other side let's see it's blended in so well on the outside you can barely see it at all now all right let's have a look so this is the side that was not treated yet again. See how it's covering uniformly the surface? It's more than happy to. And again, this side is kind of uh, kind of chopped up a little bit. See it? You can actually see the separation. The oil is kind of being pushed away. Um, so that kind of that helps me a little bit understand what it's supposed to be doing. And I'm sure it wouldn't wouldn't travel um, as as easily across the surface. So I was kind of wondering how exactly is it supposed to work, but. Um, I guess that's what this is what it looks like when it's in action. I'm sure there are better ways to, to demo this, but you see it spread? It just drops right onto the surface. And this side you can see individual droplets, even though I've been pushing it together. Um, just just with the the treated surface is not really not really interested in having oil on there. It kind of pushes it away, breaks it apart. Wish I could be uh sorry I'm not the, the best cameraman, but I just wanted to Kind of share this guy, share this with you with, with my little experiment. In terms of why I chose to use a balance wheel, it's just a, for my junk pile, you know, buy broken watches and find people butcher them. So I, I keep the parts around for things like this. See what I mean though about the difference? You can see the oil moving around the surface the way it is. Mind you, this is a pretty light oil. I mean, 90, 90, uh, 9010 is uh, in the Mobius lineup pretty, pretty fine. You see, see, so go to the center. Yep, so there you go. That's uh, That helps me a little bit. I mean, you can kind of see how it reacts. I didn't treat the the side very long, mind you. I mean, maybe maybe a minute or two, and I, it was tough. The, the material evaporates very fast, fix a drop. I even tried the uh, the Zenus va variant, which is called, uh, I don't know how to say it. I think it's Epi Epicod or Epicote. I don't know how, you, how they want to pronounce it, but it's basically the same thing from what I understand. And, uh, that, uh, that helps me a little. That's a fun little experiment. Now, what would you use this on? Well, a lot of people will apply it to um, the pallet fork or the pallet stones, I should say. Um, just the stones, there's, there's debate about, you know, putting covering the whole thing because uh, there was an experiment and they found um, like the extra wear on the, the horns of the, the pallet, pallet fork. And uh, they've, this is kind of an assumption, but based on what, what they've seen, they think it's because of fixer drop being dipped, the whole entire fork being dipped, rather than just the treating the uh, jewels. Now, uh, I'm sure I have a uh, pallet here. Let me see if I can find one so I can bring it out real quick. Um, but I'm sure you know, what, you know what I'm talking about. It's 
and they're, they're fairly small, I mean, a lot of watches. Um, so how do you treat just the, the face of those the jewels, you know? Because uh, obviously you do want the oil on the, the surface of them. Um, here we go, let me show you. We have one of these guys here. Don't mind me while I make a mess of things. All right, so we have this. So now the jewels are what we're talking about. I mean, um, obviously this is a junk part, so don't mind, it's a <laughs> lack of cleanliness. Um, so yeah, so you would actually want to apply the material to the, the jewels, just the jewels here, and the other one, of course. And then the escapement wheel, which I happen to have uh, kicking around here somewhere. Uh, this guy, from a different watch, of course. Um, the teeth, uh, you don't want the oil to uh, climb on top or below, and you certainly don't want it to run down the, uh, the pivot of the, the pallet. You know, from uh, it could it could transfer, it could travel. So what you do is you treat the wheel. They'll dip the whole escapement in this material, um, and then they'll let it run after they treat the uh, stones as well. So you get this fully treated, this guy, escapement wheel, and then you have the uh, the pallets stones treated, but not the whole pallet. That, that's my recommendation. And I'm new to this, but I've done a lot of research, so maybe I've got more to do. But that seems to be the the, the big tip here take the time to just cover these maybe with a dropper or something and just get those. Then they say well, run the watch as is without any oil on this just yet. Let it go a couple cycles. Then you apply the oil to the teeth because by then the teeth of the escapement wheel, the material has worn away thanks to the stones kind of hidden. So then you just kind of put a drop along the edge while it's spinning. You know, you hold your oiler out and it spins and it carries that oil uh, into the, the teeth uh, but the top surface, the bottom surface, all the other surfaces of the escapement wheel are still treated. The same thing um, over here, you know, just the, uh, the impulse surfaces and the, the stuff that hits the wheel is, is now kind of clean of the uh, material, the uh, fixer drop that's going to reject that oil, and it actually coats nicely and holds. And furthermore, in the top of, of this guy is still treated, the bottom is still treated, and the oil stays nicely. Now there's, there's some discussion too about the fact that a lot of people, uh, the oil that's being used, um, it's uh, synthetic, of course, as they all are now, it seems. Uh, it's in Mobius 9415, and that, that's supposed to stick nicely anyway. I mean, it's designed to kind of solidify when, it, when it's outside of an impact, and then when, the, when, the, when that action occurs and the, the jewel hits the surface of the uh, escapement wheel, um, tooth, then it, it, it just stays where it needs to be. They designed it to kind of be reactive, so that's quite fascinating. Uh, one thing to note, I'm sure you know this, but uh, you'll see that, that dark area there. Uh, Kind of looks like uh, amber. That's shellac, shellac. I want to say it, and that's that is not to do with what we're talking. It's just a dirty, uh, you know, looking kind of basically just a glue. Um, you know, maybe you're a master watchmaker, maybe you're scoffing at it. Who knows? But I just want to make sure that the people at different levels are to kind of see this mysterious substance show up, meaning fix a drop, on lists, and they're trying to get into this. And they, you know, there's just a lot of debate, and um, I don't want you to be confused because the material certainly doesn't look like that. It dries clean. That's just holding that jewel in place. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to try a little experiment. Uh, I think I've succeeded. I, we did see some surface tension differentials. Uh, same, same exact part. One treated, one not. Uh, clean prior, you know, before we went ahead and applied it. I didn't apply it for very long or very thoroughly, I will ad ad, uh, you know, admit. Uh, but, you know, hey, uh, I'm happy with what I see here. And it makes sense to me more about what's, how this material is going to react when I'm oiling. Um, and that's that. Uh, in, in terms of my uh, my interest here, uh, just a hobby of mine, as I had said, or meant to say. And uh, I'm far from an expert, but it's just tough to get help with this stuff. And at least for me, it was maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe it's getting easier. But I just want to share. And in terms of motivation, once again, uh, there was a gentleman on on YouTube that I think he calls himself Bun Special and he does a lot of pocket watches. He's a very funny guy and I like his videos because he doesn't cut them. He makes mistakes and he you know, yells at the parts and parts go flying occasionally and uh, I, I said you know what I'm gonna make a video about something that I wanted to know about that I've been kinda struggling with and you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that you could buy and then not be able to use so let, let's do a surface tension kind of you know, what I feel that's what you want to call experiment. So anyway thanks for listening to my rambling hopefully this was informative uh, you know, I'll be making some more. Be easy on me. I'm new at this stuff, and hope uh, hope that helps you. Farewell.